Hey everyone, welcome back to Zooks Plays Kenshi, episode 11. Uh, it's been a little bit of time in game that's passed since uh, the last episode. I think that we finished on day 13 or 16 or something like that, and now we're on day 24. So I've done a little bit of training with all the guys, and what I mean by training is, whoops, wrong button, is a bit of strength training. Uh, they're all sitting... Uh, they're all... Oh god, I've got my buttons mixed up. Uh, they're all sitting pretty high, around the sort of 20s. Um, 23, uh, 34 for Ruka, and 13 for uh, Foonberg. Foonberg being our new little sneaky recruit. He's just been following Ruka around up there. Um, just, you know, I've got them carrying some bodies, doing a little bit of strength training. It is slowly working, so... Yeah, look at him go. Run, Foonberg, run! Um, I have been, as well... Uh, just selling a few, uh, just selling a little bit of ore that we've been collecting. Um, you're looking at sort of, uh, what's that, like 24,000 um, ore, uh, cats, sorry. So that, that's not bad, we're getting a little bit of money up. That will go fast. <coughs> uh, my main goal soon is to try and get a better arm for Kenshiro. Um, the better the arm, the uh, better his martial arts is going to be as well. So at the moment he's just got a shitty Hiver arm. So, I mean, it's high quality Hiver arm, but it's not, it's not amazing. It's not ideal. Um, I do eventually want to get him trained up so I can get rid of some of this uh, this shoddy ass gear and get him some cooler looking threads. Uh, but at the moment, the, the bonuses, like the martial arts bonus, is really good that he's getting from all this stuff. I think it's like a plus uh, plus ten from all his equipment. So in the meantime, he'll just have to wear this dodgy stuff. Uh, speaking of dodgy stuff, we did get where's Cambo? We did get Cambo a tricorn hat and got him. Uh, oops, come back, Cambo. Uh, Oh god, this camera, man. Kenshi, I love you so much. Uh, we got him a tricorn hat and uh, some, I don't know, sort of like black body armor I think he's wearing. Uh, mercenary leather. Yeah, it's just the, the mediocre, mediocre black stuff is from a mod, but <coughs> um, he looks pretty cool. He looks like a, looks like a pirate. Um, he's just, uh, why are you running that back, mate? Did I, I didn't tell you to do that. I thought I told Malik to do that. Uh, whatever. I mean, whoever can do it, it doesn't really matter. <coughs> the strength training is going up slowly anyway, so Cambos is, you know, slowly building up. He's not, o like, oh, he is pretty over-encumbered. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, sorry, is that mute, mute the microphone then? I had a cough. Uh, sorry if I sound a little bit under the weather. I haven't been feeling the best lately, so I might sound a little bit sort of blocked up. Um, but if I do have to mute the microphone or cough, I will. Um... Yeah, so it's 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 been a little while uh, in game, and there's 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 been some fights. There's been some. Well, look at that, would you? Didn't think that I would uh, see any of those so soon. This is from a mod. Uh, it's a processor tanker. Uh, it's t uh, your guess is as good as mine as to what it is. Uh, I do like to mod my games, and I saw this one. I thought, oh, this is really cool. I think it's meant to be a skeleton pack animal. Is how it sort of works. Uh, this one is owned by the Nomadic Skeletons. So does that mean there's some Nomadic Skeletons around in town? Because, yeah, there's another, another one over there. Unless they're just by themselves wandering around. Kind of cool. Um, you can apparently buy them as well. Um, they're, just, they're just really cool little things. Oh god, what's happening here? What are you doing, eating? How are you eating the body? You're a robot. Look, I'm, I'm not asking questions. Uh, I don't understand why there's a buttload of goats in here as well. Uh, there's been lots going down. Uh, there's been slavers capturing people. There's been hungry bandits fighting people. Uh, there's, yeah, it's... <laughs> the hub is a non-stop action zone. Uh, now, one thing that happened that's sort of really annoyed me, and I don't want to have to import my game because we're going to lose... We're going to lose cool NPCs like pigtails in the bar and stuff. But... Because it just, it just basically resets all the NPCs. But in the... Um, Shinobi Thieves, uh, the trader, the backpack trader, or the thief trader, I should say, uh, he's gone. I don't know where he is. Uh, I don't think he's died. I don't remember him dying at all. I didn't see a body. He's just not here. So the plastic surgeon's still here, but yeah. So if we want those cool backpacks like we have on... Who has the backpacks? I don't think anyone has the backpacks yet. Uh, I think Foonberg has one. <laughs> yeah, so Foonberg has one. We wanted to get a bunch of the little ones, but um, yeah, we're going to have to go somewhere else where there's a... Uh, another Thieves Tower, which there's a couple scattered around the map. God, this map is huge. Oh, God. Um, there's a couple scattered around the map, but um, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll deal with that when we have to. Um, 
In the meantime, though, uh, skeletons! Someone's yelling in town. Oh, it's just this idiot. This holy citizen. Yes, there are skeletons. Is that a skeleton? That's a skeleton. Oh, that's the... Ah, oh, nomadic ske skeletons. Uh, skeleton shepherd. That is a really cool idea for a mod, uh, including those guys. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, <coughs> anyway, I've talked for, for ages. Um, food, murder, and Ruka. Funeberg and Ruka. So there's still a little bit of strength training. Um, I don't really... Sorry. Uh, I don't really have um, enough money yet to go and do some shopping. Now, I know that there was a skeleton trader uh, at the... Or, sorry, a, a robotics trader at the way station here. I think it actually might say here. Uh... Rig Trader Basics, Drifter Skeletons. No, I thought it might have actually said that there was a trader. Um, there, w there was one there, so we want to make, eventually make a trip back here with Kenshiro to buy him a better arm. Uh, Sura's leg, Sura's leg's pretty good. Um, I don't think we'll be getting her a new one anytime soon. That one's definitely alright. Just stealth and swimming is what it affects. And that, that does not matter in the slightest with Sura, because, I mean, we're not going to get her to really do much stealthing and swimming. I mean, there's no water around here. There's water in the game, but there's no water around here. <clears throat> so, we don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, now, who, what are you doing, Sarah? You're just running this uh, iron back up. But while you guys are here, let's just sell off a little bit more. So we're going there. I can't afford that. Uh, come in here and sell the pigtails. Looking to trade. Oh, this is really strange. I might have to change my resolution. Um, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Show me your goods. Uh, yeah, I don't actually know why that's happening. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen that, but it was a really weird, uh, sort of placing for the box. Um, uh, do we need anything else? Um, I don't really want to keep buying food, because I don't really think we need it. Uh, Sura, go in here. Uh, what do we got food-wise in these boxes? Got so much meat and a bunch of fish. And we have, uh, food cubes and cooked vegetables. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We don't, we don't need to worry too much about anything else. Oh, we got... We got 66 copper as well. Let's uh, let's run in here and sell that as well, Sura. Uh, where's pigtails? Can we see him from there? Oh god, that's weird. Uh, is this the box? That's the box. Now, have you got enough to buy all this stuff from us? You do not. Well, maybe we'll have to buy a bit of stuff. Uh, let's buy these. No, I don't want to put it in the, in the container. Let's buy these books. Let's buy, buy this cloth. Um. Let's buy the Gohan. I stopped clicking. God damn it. Uh, the rice. Can I fit one more? Yeah, I can fit one more. Cool. And that should be... That's no, still not enough. Um, do we need any more medicine? We want to start getting the standard first aid kits. We want to try and st uh, stay away from the basic ones. Um, I mean, they're okay. They're not bad. And, and hell, they'll save us in a pinch. Because, you know, that's the main thing to worry about in Kenshi. is just dying randomly. Like... What happened earlier in the uh, episode four, I think it was, when we lost our, our good friend, our good friend Nubbington. He will forever be missed. He was the heart and the soul of, uh, of this community. Um, <coughs> yeah, th that'll do. That'll do for now. We can, we can just leave the rest of the box. Um, oops, I'll just slow down time a little bit. Now, like I've, I've been saying for a little bit, I want to eventually start up a farm. And I'm thinking I want to start a farm over here. Um... I have had one in another game over here, and I'm pretty sure you can build here. I checked, I think, in another episode. Uh, let's just do a mock. So it's blue, so no. It's too close to that. Yeah, there we go. We can build. Funny, because I distinctly remember in another game that I was building, like, here. And it says that I can't build here. But whatever. Um, oops, smashing my microphone. Um, yeah, yeah, it's... It's probably going to be around here somewhere. There'll be like maybe two farms. Now, I want to... I think I want to start with chew sticks. Um, this is this is an arid environment. So, uh, yeah, fertility is 100%. Crop yield is 10%. Because it's... Um, I'm pretty sure because it's vegetables, it's green fruit. If it's cactus, because it's arid, cactus grows well in arid environments. And I think... I think hemp grows well as well in arid environments. I think there's a couple of different kinds. Because you can actually use hemp to make cloth, not just... <laughs> not just hashish, which, I mean, I'm not against the idea of making hash hashish later on, but uh, we'll, we'll see how we go. Um, now, to do that, I'm going to need to research um, 
uh, where's the, god it's been like a few days since I played, uh, is that the first aid? Yep, there we go. Not first aid. What am I saying? I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, oh god, this weird this weird shape is just uh, strange. I don't know why. It's probably because of the resolution. I haven't really noticed it, but um, I, don't, I don't know. It's weird. Either way, it's fine. It's still working. Um, so, <clears throat> research. Uh, we want to... God, it looks it looks so much nicer now with the um, newer resolution, though. Um, uh, farming. Cactus farming. Uh, oh, yeah, of course I can't do it because I don't have enough of something. Can you go away? Thank you. Uh, two books and two cactus is all we need. Uh, we do require wheat straw farming. It's a bit annoying. Uh, where's wheat straw farming? I just need two wheat straw. So I need to go and do a little bit of shopping. And we, we're going to we're gonna go to Squin. We're going to go to the Shek Kingdom. Uh, so we need two wheat straw and we need two cactus, but we're going to need at least ten more cactus to be able to make a basic farm. Now, water is also going to be something that I need to make sure that we can do. Uh, a water tank. Uh, no, sorry, a well. Yep. Um, yeah, 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 no, 60%. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, really. It's all 60% all, all the way around here, because you do obviously need a lot of water for, um, for farming. Cool. Okay, now we've got that. Now, who are we going to have go shopping? Um, <coughs> uh, Foonberg. Foonberg is going to go shopping, and so is uh, Tuppence. You had a backpack, didn't you? Yeah, I think I think Foonberg and Tuppence, because that way they can carry a bit of stuff. Um, you don't really need that much food on you, Tuppence. I don't know why you're carrying that much. Um, Ruka. No, you can keep doing what you're doing, Ruka. Uh, so you guys come off jobs. I want you to pop up here. What's going on here? Oh, someone's fighting someone else. I don't know. There's <laughs> all the hub. It's 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 pretty crazy. There's always something going on. Um, what are these idiots? You know what? Foonberg. Actually, no. Tuppence. Come here. Smash these fools. And Foonberg, I want you to put that body down, buddy, because we don't really need it right now. You've uh, what's your strength sitting at? Fourteen. Yeah, you get there. You get this, holy. <coughs> what? Stop. What are you doing? Oh, staying close to Ruka. No, 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 no. You want to come over here? Um, you know what? Here, you, you fight him. You fight him. Let's just get a little bit of uh, crossbow training going on. <laughs> That's right, boys. Get him. Oh, God. Look at this guy's leg. Oh, Kenshi is a cruel world. I didn't say stop shooting. They're on the ground. They're easy targets. Come on. How are you guys going for bolts? You've got a couple. You've got a couple. Yeah, these are pretty good. Um, Tuppence, we probably want to drop some of that food. I don't want to make the same mistake I made last time where uh, I went to Squid and I had no room for anything. Because uh, wheat and stuff is going to take up a bit of room. Foonberg's got plenty of space in his backpack, but... Oh, come on, guys. Come on. Get him down. Are you even hitting them? Well, slowly... Well, it's good crossbow training, at least. Either way. Oh, got him. Good stuff, Tuppence. No curiosity. Have they got any money on them? Yeah, four cats! Now, what I could be doing... <coughs> is I could be collecting all their weapons... To melt down for ore. But we don't need to. Because we have... We're, we're getting so much ore over here, it's, it's, it's not funny. So we don't really need to worry too much about that. Like I said, this stuff that they have on them... It's not even worth my time. Um, now, Tuppence, inside here, drop off a little bit of that food. Actually, does, does Foonberg have any food? He ate, he ate the fish that he had on him earlier, okay. Well, you can give him, give him a rice bowl. There we go. And Tuppence, I need you to drop off the rest of this food. And then we're, we're on a journey. That's not going to fit in there. The meat will. Um, there we go. Yeah, crossbow bolts are good. Crossbow bolts aren't bad. Um, it's one more. Now we're good. We're good. All right, use two. It's time to go on a journey. Let's save so we don't crash when we go through lo uh, zones. Where we're, we're going to head to Squin. So the problem with this is that we can't still go across the main road because there's still a bunch of ass faces on the main road. So we're just gonna we're gonna scout around. 
and see if we can avoid getting into fights with them at the moment. I mean, I want to wipe these guys out. Who are you? What are you doing? Dust Bandit. What are you standing out here by yourself for? Oh, you're naked. Why are you naked? Were you someone that we beat up? I don't remember. There's still quite a few Dust Bandits over here. What do we got? Yeah. <laughs> ah, he's crippled. That's what you get for setting up on the road, ass faces. Uh, these are pretty cool looking cactuses as well. Cool, alright. Oh, we need to get to Squin. Uh, all this talk of the Bugmaster in this day and age. It never gets old! Who's saying that? Uh, Tuppence is saying that. Are you laughing at us? I can never tell with you. Oh, here we go. It's another skeleton thing. The skeletons laugh on the inside. We're too depressed to laugh on the outside. <laughs> oh, classic Tuppence. Can't you just reset or something? Oh yeah, we've heard this one before. If you reset it, it resets all our skills. That's the stupidest thing. The hilarious. Alright boys, <clears throat> let's get a move on. Up this hill. Who are they? Oh, they're enemies. Hungry bandits. Oh god, that's so weird, the placement! I'm gonna have to try and figure out what, what's doing that. In the meantime though, it still looks okay. It's We're not having any dramas, so everything's good. Oop, loading in. I'll just run at two speed for a little bit, just so the game doesn't crash. <coughs> Like I've said before, Kenshi is... is <laughs> I, I've had so many crashes in Kenshi before. I've only had one, I think, so far recording this series. So I've been very lucky, but I've also been very careful. Um, you know, I've got autosave set to like every five minutes, three minutes, something like that. So worst case scenario, I can just revert to an earlier save, which is good. I won't lose too much progress. Um, it's just frustrating, as you can imagine. Um, but I just... Oh, go, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. It's loading in. Um, I do want to eventually build a better computer. Um, my computer's not bad. It's like sort of high mid-range, but I mean, it was high mid-range like five years ago when I built it, so it's it's not ideal now. New new graphics card, but yeah. Anyway, um, hello, Shek friends. Can we come inside? You there? Show me your gear. Yep, you can look at it. You may pass. <coughs> All right, now. Oh, there's a trader here. So I've been talking to all the uh, the ninja traders, just so I could see if they've had any cool gear. Um, uh, what do we got here? Uh, nothing really. I want to I wanna eventually get some really cool leathers, like black leathers for Kenshiro, and some like black leather pants. Um, but for now, uh, they haven't really got much. And we're not going to really worry about making our own gear yet, because there's not really much point. It's um, It's still early days. Um, however, I think there's two of them that walk around here, uh, but that's okay. We'll go into the bar. I just want to see if, uh, that Rain the Giant lady is still in here, because I would love to hire her. Um, but she was really expensive from memory. Uh, you're not Rain, are you? No, you're Grease Pot. Oh, that's right, Grease Pot. I kind of... Hmm, let's have a chat to Grease Pot. Tuppence, we to have a chat to him. Looking to join together. 6,000 cats. No, thank you. Why are you so... Why are you so expensive? Uh, you haven't really got amazing stats. I don't know. Uh, I can't see Rain here. Is she on the top floor? No one is on the top floor. There are a lot of people walking around down here, though. Maybe she's over here. Who are you? Terran. I saw you before. Zelk. And these guys are Shinobi Thieves. They're our pals. Um... Uh, thief Fence. Let's go and see what the Thief Fence has got. Oh god, Squint is so hard to navigate the camera through. Uh, want to offload something? Yes, I do. Oh, you, you, what? You have one pair of boots. Wow, buddy. Wow. Is that rain? No, she, where did I see her? I saw her in one of these bars, I'm sure. Hopefully she hasn't despawned as well. If I have, if I start having issues like that, I'm going to have to do a, um, Gonna have to reload. Uh, is that Bellis? You're the shopkeeper? Yeah, you're the shopkeeper. Um, oh god. Uh, Kang. Oh, Kang! That's right, we we're gonna, we're gonna consider getting Kang, weren't we? Oh, there's Rain. Now, I'm pretty sure Rain and. Oh, and there's Yan. There's, uh, yeah, that's right, there's a few people here. Rain and Kang. So. Their stats are pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty positive their stats don't reset when you hire them. I'm pretty positive. Um, yeah, they're pretty good. 
Uh, I think we do want a couple of uh, hard-hitting checks, but uh, if they're going to be... How much were they? How much were they? I'm pretty sure they were like... Uh, how much are you charging? 6,000 cats? Yeah, and rain was like maybe 9,000 cats. Uh, 7,500. Well, hmm. That's, that's not too bad. That's like 1350, I think, if my math is correct. <clears throat> um, I mean, that's not even half of what we've got. And we will get more. But bringing on more people means we're going to have to have more jobs for them. And I do need... I do need someone to what to, to tend the farms. I mean, these guys, I mean, they're, they're, they're not, they shouldn't be used to tend farms, but if I'm going to hire them, they're going to work for me. Um, is there anyone else in here? Who's this? This is a pacifier. Uh, let's see what the shopkeeps just got first. I'm just curious. Here to trade. Uh, you've got water. We don't, we don't need that. A uh, bunch of food. Uh, Dust King. Hmm, Dust King. Dust King's a bandit uh, leader who is... I think it's here, yeah. Dust King's here, in this unknown tower. It's the Dust King Tower. Uh, I've captured him once or twice before in other games. Uh, it, it's not easy, but I mean, it's 30,000 cats, so... Um, the thing is with Kenji is that early game, it's hard to make money, but you get to a point where the money is just flowing in, and you, you've got nothing to worry about, so you can just equip your guys with the best gear possible. Um... Who's this? F uh, Fujin. I wish I could see their stats. I wish I could see if they were any good at um, farming and stuff. Um, Alright, well look, we're, we're here for one reason, so let's do that first. We need to go to the general store, and we need to buy... Um, who's that? We need to buy some uh, wheat straw and some cactus. And I know these guys generally stock it. Um, Tuppence, can you... Thank you. <coughs> Alright, uh, Finberg, we'll chuck this in your bag, because you've got a bigger bag. I need two wheat straw. Shit, I haven't got enough cactus. Uh... Hmm, well, that's enough to get us started, at least. We're going to have to make another trip. Uh, we do want more... Yeah, we do want more fabrics. They're not expensive. Let's get them. And you're not oh, badly overweight. Actually, you're not even overweight. You could, you could, you're fine. So you can still run like you're fast, like 22, 22 miles an hour, 21. Yeah, cool. I don't think we need more uh, books for the meantime. Um, maybe we should get cotton, and we could do and and hemp, and maybe we could just do the get the research done. Oh, okay, they're pretty heavy. Two kilos each. Jesus. Uh, yeah, we're we're gonna do that. We're gonna get that. And we're going to uh, do the research. Um, I don't think we need anything else from here. No, no, I'm pretty sure we're, we're good with everything, everything else. <coughs> building supplies we don't need. What do you need for a farm? I don't think you need building supplies. I think it's just the um, just the crops. Pretty sure. That's right. Yep, cool. Alright. Well, we've done that. Uh, we, we spent barely any cards, so that's great. Um, let's have a quick look at the backpack traders to see if we can get any, any more backpacks. I mean, we're going to have to try and look around for backpacks now, considering we can't get them from the hub, which is really friggin' annoying. Uh, it was good to have an extra, uh, merchant. Uh, Tuppence, talk to... Chirk. That's a cool name, actually. Oh, you got goggles on and everything. You're awesome. Alright. Uh, knapsacks, no. Adventurous backpacks, no. Ah, Small Thieves backpack. That's what we want. But we're going to have to pay 3,000 cats for it. We were getting it for half the price because we're through the, uh, through the Shinobi Thieves. But, I mean, might just have to bite the bullets. Um, yeah, let's just buy it. <coughs> yeah, we, we need it. We do need it. Um, now, we did want, some, um, did want some standard first aid kits as well. So let's just buy... Uh, yeah, just buy those. We are... We're not, we're not over encumbered, so that's fine. Uh, any cheap maps? Tech Hunter's Library map. I mean, it's only 100 cats, why not? Uh, map of Vane. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Let's let's start buying up some maps. So, how much do we need? Because we're going to get more money, that's not a problem. How much do we need for Rain and for Kang? It was. Uh, I think it was. 6,000 each? No. One was 6,000, one was 700. Uh, sorry, 7,500, so that's. It's like 1350. Yeah, we can afford this. We can afford it. Um, healing pods. I think that might be from a mod. Can't 
make it yet anyway. Let's start buying up some maps. So map of Shek Kingdom, let's get that. Uh, map of United Cities, let's get that. Map of Vane, let's get that. Uh, oh, that's a thousand. Yeah, no bugger it, let's get that. Uh, Glorious Holy Nation. Um, what's this? Mongrel? Yeah, we'll get that. Uh, <coughs> don't think we need more toothpicks. I think we're good for that for now. Um, I wonder what these actually hold. Maybe that is stack um, bolts or something. I don't know. They're from a mod as well. Look kind of cool. Um, we might have to get some at some point. Uh, we don't need books. Uh, Tech Hunter's Notes. The swamps. Yeah, the swamps are dangerous, man. Um, yeah, I think that's all we need. Uh, splint kit. Hmm. Maybe we should get a splint kit. It's not overly expensive. Let's get, just get one splint kit as well. Now, we want to learn all the locations of these maps. This is going to help. This is going to open up uh, open up a lot. If we jump to our map... Oh, God. I keep forgetting how big it is. Jump to our map. Look at this. Look at all these green. So we just... Uh, we just went and bought a bunch of maps, read through them all, and marked all locations on our map. So we've got we've got heaps of stuff. We've got... Um, oh, look at this. Stoat. Henge. Heft. This is great, actually. This is, this is really good. Does it have World's End? No, we do need, do need to eventually go to World's End at some point. That's not that's a holy farm. Um, this is really good. We've just opened up quite a lot of stuff. We're gonna have to start making some trips trips around at a later date. Um, <laughs> Flats Lagoon and Secret Trope Farm. It's just over there. Funny. Um, we're gonna have to start making some trips around eventually. Now, uh, the grid is an extremely good place to go and get uh, ancient science books early on. Also, when we have enough money, we can just go and buy a few of them from Flat uh, Flat Lagoon as well. Um, so we're, we're definitely going to be able to go sort of there and, and back to there and be able to get a bunch of ancient science books. We do want to try and get our robot robotics up so we can eventually start making our own robotic arms. We also want to be able to... Uh, I, I'm going to try for hydroponics. Uh, I've never actually done that before. I know it's, I know it's much further down the line for, um, for research, but I'd love to be able to set up a whole bunch of uh, f like hydroponic farms in... in inside the hub and, and and obviously you can't set up farms in the hub but uh setting them up inside houses and stuff i think it's going to be really cool so we'll start a little a little uh you know we'll, we'll grow something uh who knows what it might be but we'll start growing something there um so yeah the grid and flats lagoon are going to be two places i, I know that there's definitely ancient science books uh there is a couple of there's one here and one here somewhere uh ancient laboratories or something like that where there's probably ancient science books as well but uh, <clears throat> it might be a little bit too tough to go through because there's a lot of uh, the, the I think in the swamp there's all the blood spiders and here in the burning forest it's guarded by mechanical spiders so yeah it's dangerous but look at this look at all these spots that are just on this is excellent uh, I'm very happy with that um, all right well I, I did say that we were going to consider hiring these guys so let's yeah let's do it we need some hard hitters we need some hard hitters. Um, at the moment, Ruka is our only hard hit hard hitter because she has her uh, plank, and we did want to get her an axe. Um, I wonder how much the axes are. We might be able to go and have a look while we're here. Now, your Kang, Kang, we wanted to recruit you. So come on, up you get. Maybe you got any skills? Uh, whatever. Just get to the point where I can hire your pal. Sure, I guess so. Uh, Six thousand cats. Okay, you're hired. Interesting. So, Kang, you can't... Kang, you can't customize. Hmm. I wonder... I wonder why. I wonder what... Yeah, whatever. Uh, as we, we could Ruka, so it's just weird. Um, I know how to handle myself in a fight. Deal! Awesome. Now, please, God, tell me their, their specs... Oh, no, they didn't. They didn't reset. That's excellent. Now, let's have a look at these guys. <coughs> oh, catchy music. It's amazing. All right, um, Kang. Kang is... Kang's not bad. Kang's got some good skills. Look at this. Uh, he's even a good... He's even a good medic. He's actually even a good medic. I got so excited then. I just flicked my hands around and smacked my microphone. Um, that's really good. Um, Sabres, he's good with... I think... Mm, I would like to get him with pole arms, really. What does he come with? What's his weapon? Uh, it's a saber. Big surprise. Um, you have some pretty basic... Uh, gear on you as well. Do come with first aid kit. Um, cool. Okay, that's good. Um, 
Yeah. It's weird that you're... You've got... You're... You're... A, you're... A, done a little bit of everything, haven't you, Kang? Uh, Rain the Giant. Uh, oh, Rain, you're, you're in the same boat. That's amazing. Your, your stats... Why is your toughness 2? Yet yeah, Kang's is, is 25. It's a bit strange. You've got better armor on there, haven't you? Uh, and you've got a... What's that? A long sword. Barbaric breastplate, barbaric folds, and plated long boots. Cool. They're just basic things, but that's alright. We'll get you kitted out with some better stuff at some point. Um, yeah, interesting. Uh, athletics is good for her. What was your athletics? 15? Yeah, not bad. Um, just weird. so weird that your toughness is so low. I, I don't know. Um, that's okay. That's that's alright. That's good. Um, so, out of... Let's... Um, it's just what? What do these guys run at? Uh, oh god! Oh god! Fifteen, fifteen. Uh, uh, Tuppence. Yeah. All right. Well. Hmm. That's okay. Uh, let's. Where is everyone? Is that everyone? Oh yeah. Let us find battle. Um. I don't know why I went like Arnold Schwarzenegger then. Uh. Weapons. We wanted to go and check out the weapons. Can you guys all run, like, same pace, I guess? Alright, uh... Tuppence, do the talking, buddy. We do want to really look for a better axe for, um... Mm, they're pretty average. Ooh, ooh, they're really good. That's really good. Yeah, captain number three. Yeah, no good axes. Oh, look at that. Look at that giant sword. That's amazing. How much is it? Uh, 8,000 cats, and it's pretty shit, but it looks absolutely amazing. Uh, 24 kilos. That one's 30 kilos. Wow. Um, I do like... I do like this. Uh, it is 25,000 cats, though. Um, what's that? That's a heavy weapon. Hacker class. All right. Well, hmm. Well, it looks like we won't be doing any purchasing today. Uh, let's do a quick look in the armor shop just to see what they've got as well while we're here. Alright, Tuppence, uh, you do the talking, buddy. Um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, this, this stuff isn't bad. The armored rag shirts... They're pretty good because they give that martial arts bonus. What does what does Kenshiro have? He's got this, hasn't he? I mean, it's basically the same thing, I suppose. <coughs> um, play jackets are awesome, but they're they're medium armor, and they do. Oh no, they they I thought the plate armor slowed your uh, your athletics, but it doesn't. That's actually uh, martial arts bonus is minus five. Play jackets are pretty good. Um, they're only five kilos. They're not ridiculously expensive. Um, um, they're not bad. They're not bad at all. We, we might be able to get a couple of these for um, Kang, Rain, and, and Ruka. The Sheks being our frontline fighters as well. Well, I mean, everyone's a frontline fighter, really, but well, except for these two with their crossbows. But, yeah, I kind of... I kind of want those, the plate jackets. Hmm. Uh, samurai armor is awesome, but at the same point, we, we cannot use it right now. Uh, samurai cloth pants. I actually really like the samurai cloth pants. I think they're pretty good. They look cool too. Um. Yeah, look, I don't think we're going to be spending any money, but uh, maybe we should while that plate jacket's there. That's the only one they've got, which is blue quality. Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy that. Um. I don't know who I'm going to give it to, though. You know what I might do, is I might just... I might just make Kang carry it. I don't want to give it to him, though. Or maybe I should. Maybe I just should. Why were you so slow, Athletics Effect? <coughs> Kang, what's affecting you so much? Is it just... It's just the pants. Yeah, with the Athletics Effect effect. I mean, they give some pretty good defense. 11, 25, 90. <laughs> a 
so almost better than the plate jacket itself. Um, but then there's then there's Rain, and she worries me because her toughness is just terrible. Which if she gets knocked out, it's she's gonna not gonna be up for ages. <coughs> I like how she comes with a standard first aid kit, which has got like what twenty five out of four hundred charges left. Um, yeah, no, you know what, bugger it. We're gonna give we're gonna give, gonna, give, gonna give Kang the uh, the armor. He's gonna wear it. He's gonna look pretty sick as well wearing it. Oh, it's like rusty. That's um. Wait, where did it go? Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know why it did that. A mod, maybe. I don't know. It looks cool. It looks pretty cool though. Yeah, he looks pretty awesome. How much? So I think I think what you have on you, brain, is about as good as the other plate chest piece as well. So anyway. Hmm. Disappointing they didn't have an axe. Disappointing. We do want an axe, Ruka. Um we're going to We're gonna leave and we're gonna head back to town. Um uh, are they gonna stop us for a bag check? Nope. Okay, cool. We're gonna head back into town and we're gonna get some farming underway. Um we do wanna set up something uh uh, we do want to set up something uh, relatively close in that spot that I, I was planning on. Um, Alright, let's just hope we don't get ambushed on the way home, because we're only going 15 miles an hour. We can't outrun anyone at this rate. And I think rain was the same. Um, yeah, 15. But at the same point, they're going to get their, uh, their athletics up, and we'll be home shortly. Where... Where are we going? Oh, down that way. It's alright, I'm looking over there going, where, where are my guys? Like, oh, you normally can see their names by now. Uh, we do have to be very careful of the bandits that are around. But yeah, I want to get this farm set up. I want to be able to start um, start growing some cactus. Um, it, is, it is a very slow process. Like everything you can see, set up, initial setup is very, very slow. It takes a very long time to do. But once you get it done and you start just ring, uh, raking in the cats, it just, it just, it's raining cats. Make it rain. Um, oh god, this camera. Hopefully when I eventually get a new computer, uh, Kenshi will run even better. Um, Alright. <coughs> hey everyone, say hello to your new pals, Kang and Rain the Giant. Now what am I going to get them to do for now? Because I don't really have anything for them right now. Uh, Foonberg, I want you to follow Ruka. Kang, I want you to follow Ruka. And Rain, I also want you to follow Ruka. Tuppence, I want you to come and do some... Oh, actually, Foonberg and Tuppence, you need to come up here to drop off all the junk that you've got in your backpacks first. <coughs> uh, and while we've been gone, the other guys have just been, you know, in the process of uh, mining, dropping stuff off in these boxes. Like, look, we've already got like 30 of each back in here again. Uh, and they're, they're slowly getting their, uh, was it, laboring up. Uh, Ruka is getting her strength up. Look at Ruka's strength, 35. That is awesome. Um, you know what I might get? I might get these guys to train their strength a little bit more as well. So Rain the Giant, come and pick up this dude. Kang, come and pick up this dude. Foodberg, I will get you to pick up something in a second. Um, alright, where are we going to put all this junk? So, that can go in there, that can go in there. Let's put the rest of this junk in here. Uh, also, that can go in there. Cool. This is this is good. <coughs> We're start to go, starting to get a lot of fabric, and like I said, I, I wanted that and needed that for beds. Beds help you heal a lot faster than um, than sleeping bags, and uh, very soon we will be able to make. Uh, what my plan is is to actually buy this place just here, and this place here will be our dormitory, I suppose, so we'll be able to heal up there. I might make a little cooking stove in there as well, and that's where we can start mass producing our... Uh, like I said, I think, I think we're going to go chew sticks first, because it's probably the easy option, as opposed to bread, because we're not going to be able to grow wheat too well here, I don't think. Um, now, research. We want to go... We've got plenty of books, which is excellent. Uh, can you close that, please? Thank you. Uh, we want to go... Where is it? Wheat straw, cotton, cactus... Um, don't need baking and fishing. There's no water around here. Uh, this is a little bit cheesy. The fishing mod, you, you you put down fishing fishing rods, I suppose is what it is, and you fish 
you, you can fish anywhere as long as there's a water percentage. It's kind of dumb and I don't really like it. I don't want to cheese it out. What I think would be cool is that part of the fishing mod is you can find, uh, you've got to find grubs to use as bait. Uh, for the fishing mod. It'd be really cool if someone would just make a grub farm or a, or a compost heap or something like that where you could just, you know, breathe grubs and grubs could only be like, you know, five or ten nutrients, something really small, but it's it's a quick basic thing to eat. It's disgusting, you know, because you're eating grubs, but it would be kind of cool if you could do something like that. Um, maybe someone will make a mod, who knows. Um, I'll be all for that. A grub farm. Um, so... I think that's all we needed. Uh, wheat straw, I might just unpause it. Wheat straw and, oh hang on Foonberg, I need you to pick up one of these bodies before you leave, please. Heh <laughs> this guy's alive. Come and attack him. Get him, get him! He's gotta be the one you carry. So get him. Yeah, alright, pick up. You guys should all be relatively... Where are you guys? Did you pick up the bodies? Yep you did, yep you did. Excellent. Now this is going to get the why they follow Ruka around. It's like they're you know they're on patrol and Ruka is patrolling around and then it's following following her. Um, while this is happening, this is excellent because they're going to get their strength up <clears throat> and they're going to get their. Cambo, what are you doing? Getting food? Operating machine. Oh. I wonder why you're doing that. I wonder who I had set to that. I don't remember and I don't know why you're doing that now. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, Ruka, why did you stop? Oh, because there's no ore to, to haul, of course. Um, that's right, stand out there. Uh, now, Tuppence, I want you to... Are you researching? What are you doing, mate? Oh, you haven't got jobs back on. Jobs and... Let's just turn jobs on. There we go. Um, I kind of want you all to run just your fastest. <coughs> and that way these guys will eventually catch up. Uh, Tuppence, you're going to work on getting the, uh, the research done. And... And yeah, we're going to be able to get uh, we're going to be able to get cactus farm set up. And like I said, I want to set up a small little farm just over here. It's going to be dangerous because it's further away from the hub, and people use this road all the time. We could just have random bandits just decide to run up and beat the crap out of us. But getting that cactus farm up and running is probably going to be the main goal uh, for the next episode. Um, so uh, thanks for joining me again, guys. Uh, I've been Zooks. You've all been awesome. Um, and like I've always said, anytime you want to uh, leave a comment, leave a leave a like, leave a, you know, just subscribe if you're enjoying the, the, the content. Uh, if if you even want to leave a comment, something I'm doing wrong, something I'm being stupid about, um, you know, by all means, please let me know. Uh, have a chat with me in the comments. I'm, I'm happy to hear it. I'm happy to take on feedback. Uh, I am still a new newish Kenshi player, so I'm probably doing and saying a lot of stuff that's wrong. Um, but apart from that, I'm enjoying the shit out of myself playing this game. Um, and it's going to be our uh, hub, total hub domination. Um, so thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Alright, bye!